For the next subtopic, we will discuss about potential gradients. First of all, what is potential gradients? The potential gradient is defined as the rate of change of electric potential with respect to the distance from the base of the electric structures. You will see later on how simple the relationship between potential and also electric field intensity by using gradients. We know the potential can be calculated by using the integration, negative integration of E dot dl, the dot product. So the dv is equal to minus okay x cap e x plus y cap e y plus z cap e z dot product with the dl for Chartesian coordinate, which is x cap dx plus y cap dy plus z cap dz. And you have to remember that the dot product of the same vector unit is equal to 1 and the different vector unit is equal to 0. That's why your solution become dv equal to minus ex dx plus ey dy plus ez dz which is a scalar unit. From here, we can conclude that the EX, okay, the EX here is equal to del V over del X or we can write E equal to negative, okay, vector unit of X del V over del X. And others will be the same for EY and EZ. Therefore, we can write E into EX plus EY plus EZ equal to minus F cap del V over del X minus Y cap del V over del Y minus Z cap del V over del Z. Or E equal to negative gradient V. So this is what we call gradients or in Malay language kecerunan. Eh? So it's very simple. We have negative signs mean um, the direction of E field is opposite to the uh, negative positive uh, potential. Let's see example 10. Given V equal to 2x3y minus 5z squared, find E. Alright, so for the solutions, because we know what is the potential, so we can use potential gradient to find the E field. So E equal to negative gradient V equal to minus del V over del X unit vector X minus del V over del Y unit vector Y minus del V over del Z unit vector Z when you solve this okay the V into X you got minus 6Y um, unit vector X here in this part and then you have minus 6X unit vector Y also this part and then we have positive 10z, which is this part, the solution for this part. And the unit is volt per meter. Next, we see example 11. In free space, find the charge density associated with example 10 at point minus 4, 3, and 6. So we have charge density here. Okay, rho V. So from the previous solution, we, we will use this. E equal to minus 6Y X minus 6XY cap plus 10Z cap. 
word permitted. We always use this. Okay, for our example 10, the solution of electric field intensity is this, this part. Okay, 10. The charge density rho V can be found using diversion of electric flux density. Please remember this in chapter 3. Okay, you learn about Gauss law. So in Gauss law, we already discussed about the relationship between the charge density and also the electric flux density by using divergence. Okay, rho v equal to divergence of d. And we know that d is equal to epsilon naught e in free space. So we, we change d into epsilon naught e. And this epsilon naught is a constant, so we, we bring outside. So it becomes uh, the, the divergence of e. Okay, the unit is coulomb per meter. So we solve this. Uh, rho v equal to epsilon naught. Okay, and then the divergence of e equal to del over del x e x plus del over del y e y plus del over del z e z. So when you see this e, you can see that um, for component x, we don't have x. So this part becomes zero. For component y, we don't have y. We only have 6x. So this one also becomes zero. So for z component, okay, we have 10z here. So it has a value. So 10z, the differentiation becomes 10. So our rho v becomes 10 coulomb per meter cube. 